and good morning people welcome back to Dragon Quest 11 2d mode since we're in Tickenton at the moment we are currently in the echo chamber we have done our left side five tomes have been completed we've got five more to go One fun, uh, fun thing about uh, Tickington is that you actually can't save here. Yes, there's a chapel, but what it basically does is the, the priest is asleep, or, or whatever you want to call the pre uh, this uh, Tockington, uh, or this Tockle. Um, so it tells you, you can't actually save here. You've got to go out into the world to actually save. So I've done that, I've come back. Here we are, ready to go in to the Altar of Rivery. To the All Trades Abbey. Let's not waste too much time, let's get involved. Okay, so this is a trade. You've got uh, you trade out your old vocation to for a new one. Um, you want to become a bunny girl? How is that possible? I think we've got a big question about what's going on here. Is there anything on the bookshelves? Might as well find out. Okay, nothing of interest there. Anything over the other side? Nothing exactly. Um, I'm honestly quite a bit worried about why there is seven old men looking to become bunny girls. Um, can you fill us in, Mr. King, P uh, Priest, whatever you are? Uh, no, we don't need to. We sort of know what we're doing. Taking up all your resources. I guess we figured out what we're here for. It's basically to make all these um, 
people get their dream, maybe? And just get them on their way so the All Trades Abbey can do what it's meant to be doing? Okay. There's a book that can grant a gaggle of old men the ability to transform into lovely ladies for a golden pickaxe. I have no idea what I'm getting myself into, but let's go and do this anyway. <laughs> One where one might expect to find fashion advice, where a lot of young ladies gather. Um... Have we seen any place like that? You went to... you go to... The Neverglade. You go to the pantry. Erdrick's Erd future home doesn't seem right. Moonahan does have the Princess of Moonbrook, but is that it? And I'm not exactly seeing a bookcase for a book either. This one might be out in the real world. Huh. Well, a lot of young late. Oh! Yes, it is. We need to go to... The School of Medals. The School of Mini Medals. That's where we are, a load of young ladies go to. So we'll come back to that one because we do need to go out. Altar of the Forgotten Past, the Rainbow Mines. The Rainbow Mines is a bit of a maze. There are a lot of enemies here. Go and knock seven shades of something out of whatever devil's done all of this to the the mine and get it back to normal. Okay. Oh, of course he won't be joining us. He'll be sitting here resting up up with his legs a lot of these enemies though we have dealt with a few times uh, this is another place where you can find the fromage flay so it isn't lost after gallon hand you can get it here as well Which is good because I'm likely going to have to come back to get everything at a later date. Once I've sort of got a little bit further in and opened up all of the areas available in the echo chamber. 
Or I could get lucky later and just find it. But we'll see. We are going to be here for a little while. And that's a dead end. Right. <laughs> okay, so let's move on our way. Or try to. Bags of money. I think those ha actually... Uh, give a fair amount of money at this point even for the stage of the game I'm at now yeah 322 gold isn't really too bad considering how much experience you get for the, that group Okay, where's... Is this what I'm expecting? Actually, no, I think this is... There is a certain area I'm expecting, but I'm not too sure if it's now or later. More likely later. Um... On boulders. It might be now though. Single files. Wow. Um apparently We've got a whole load of bomb boulders around. Is this what the um, what the person upstairs meant? That everyone has turned uh, all the normal boulders have turned into bomb boulders. Couple of rock bombs. And you are grenades. Um, I wasn't there, game. <laughs> but, uh, okay. Do I need to fight any of these? I... <laughs> Not really, but might as well. And it likes jump, jumping me to places. And now we're getting combination bombs. Not that it really matters because they're not really that dangerous. I'm getting a lot of single files though. Sure, it's only 10 MP, but if you've got a lot of them, 10 MP, they, they can be some nice little bits of healing later.
this definitely does seem to be the way that uh, that person is saying though of the crystals or the rocks have been turned into bombs in some by some person and we're just going to go and fix it Right, that's better. Yeah, so I don't need to fight all these, I don't think. After all, I could probably go this way and... Just go round the corner. But I'm going to go and clear out the entire room, so give me a moment. Okay, that's this area clear. Um, yeah. Just all the same things, nothing too special. But we do see our final um, enemy down there, well, the main enemy. Very devils and smackers. Okay. Uh, party poop with that lot. Uh, you can just boom and you can attack the very devil. I don't think I'm going to defeat all of the rock bombs this, on the way here. Uh, the most important one is that enemy down there, so we're just going to fight our way through these lot and we'll be fine. I was not up the top of the steps game, but um, never mind. We've got uh, whatever this is. Maeve, the warrior queen. Um, Veronica, can you... I don't really need that. Um, and that doesn't really help either. So yeah, let's just uh, use up that on a... a frizzle. Ah, oh, you're bringing out some uh, friends, are you? I don't think it's going to help you, honestly, because yeah, you can do that on the rock bombs. And honestly, Serena, you can just defend.
okay. So, we just helped you... Okay, um... Now we can move them around. <laughs> Wonder if that's going to be a puzzle later. I don't think it is, but uh, honestly, I couldn't tell you for certain. <laughs> Might be a puzzle in the original version, though. In the actual game itself, the story, the adventure. Bamboolegans. I don't think we dealt with... Didn't we have something slightly... A, a different name? Or was this... Is this actually the same one? No, they must be a little bit different because that wasn't nearly as damaging as the one earlier. get a cautery sword. Green gems? I don't think we saw any green. We saw red, yellow and blue, but no green. But that is another quest done. Let's move on. Or try to. over to Chateau Felix for the altar of the Cursed King. So 
so welcome to the home of cats. Sure. Um, what are we doing here then? He's out at the moment, so there's not anything we can do here. Huh. Okay, let's move on to Altar of the Undeciphered for the Room of Revival. Wetland, Dwarf, Elf, a Poppet and an Ogre. Um, I do believe we have a few issues on On that, the way to the actual correct races are blocked. Okay, what do you have to say? The Revivalist No, not as tempting as being revived as a actual reincarnation in a proper race, not a monster. Okay. So, um... De declared he would he was determined to find an instrument called the Lie of, of Aya. Take the form of an old man. Okay, so we need to go back to Gallenholm. That's fair enough. So, time to sp start speaking to pretty much every single old man that's in the uh, in the area.
Ah, there we are. It wasn't too hard to find him. And here is the revivalist. Um, it's more of the same. More of the same. Oh. You definitely don't like being class with magic. But you are still taking damage and, well, unbridled blade. Um, yeah, more multifast. And we can go bang, um, sorry, boom with you. Serena? Uh, just multi heal. Probably a good reason to use multi heal as well. Revivalist hasn't gone down completely yet, though, so. Accelerator? No, I don't think we need that. I just defend Serena. Five thousand three hundred and eighty experience. Pretty nice. So, another quest pretty much done. Let's go back and report it. And there we go, there's our monster problem out of the way. I don't actually know too much about Dragon Quest X for this one. Um, I know very little about f now nine. I, mean, I know a lot about eight, right? But ten, I'm not entirely certain what this is about. It's like you can choose your. It's, it's more like an MMO type of thing. Yeah, we've got one uh, male, female. You choose which one. You choose your character, uh, your character race. 
Hmm. Alright, so off to... Right, so we know we know... We still need to know where we go for that one, actually. And I'm a little bit worried about that I can't do anything in Chateau Felix yet. Oh, I think I remember this one. Yeah, we can't do anything here just yet. We need to come, no, we need to do a later version of this one before we can actually come back and do this one. Because it's saying, uh, what he's saying is you need to come back later. There is, I believe, the second one, which is Chateau Felix at night. So we need to go back there then. All Trades Abbey, yes, we need to go out to the School of Mini Medals. Where this one is? Um, info Quest Catalog. Go figure. Ruby Path of Doom. That might be one I need to come back for. Might be in a later ver uh, later book version. Because because we've done pretty much everything here. Ruby Path of Doom doesn't sound like anywhere in the real world. But I'm going to have a look around quick. I, well, I've got to go out and get the book from the Mini Medal School. Anyway, so I'll have a quick look on the map for that. But yeah, this is the chapel technically, but the toggle priest is fast asleep. You need to return to Erdria to actually save. So off to Erdria. And yeah, I'll be back once, I've, uh, once I get to the book. I'm going to have a quick look on the map and see what I can actually see about this ruby path of doom. Okay, here we are in the mini metal school. And if I remember correctly, there was a book here on on these shelves that we couldn't do uh, do anything with. Was it in this particular one, or was it in another part of this area? Well, that's looking pretty uh, suspicious. The Bunny Girl's Bible. A book on how to be the best bunny girl possible. 
wonder if Jade needs this one. I am going to make a quick uh, stop off at the headmaster, principal, whatever you want to name him. Just see how... yeah, seven mini medals, that's more than enough for the next one, which is agility gillet. That's two pages done. And a Glombolero. And the next will be a suit of spiked armor. So Glombolero, Magical Might, Chance of absorbing MP, 20%, and just a load of defense. It's pretty good for you, but... Hmm... Losing out on that evasion chance is a bit meh, though. Agility Gillet... A lot of agility, a lot of charm, and a fair amount of defense. That can actually go on Jade. I don't think it'll be better than the span uh, angled dress in any way, but... Um, It's close, but it's not. The only the big difference we'll get there is the agility. And I don't really need that so much. So the only other one it would like to go on to is Silvando. And I think it would actually be an improvement. Yeah, quite a bit on every every facet there. So, yeah, we will go with that on him. We're going to keep with the head turner, though. I kind of like that outfit. So, first things first. Off, back off to Sickington. We are going to hand this in as the quest for turning people into bunny girls but of course we do need to talk to this person with the fabulous bow tie And it was this one. The All Trades Abbey. So, um, let's get started on turning these seven old men into bunny girls.
really now. Um, okay. And we do get a golden pickaxe. And yes, they are literally getting turned into bunny girls. A uh, golden pickaxe. Yeah, important item. A tool that turns even an ordinary mining expedition into a bullion bonanza. Um, not sure what that means. One of them just goes, no, nah, I don't want to be a buddy girl, I want to be a merchant. Um, This person understands. Anyways, we're going to leave... ...them to their bunny girlness. And these two. Okay, so Chateau Felix. Yes, we do need to go to another place later. That much I sort of already knew once I remembered what was happening there. This one, the Ultra of the Starry Skies, the, path, uh, the Ruby Path of Doom, is also in this area, but it is a later area. To go to we don't have the past word for that yet so yes we will be doing them but we won't be doing them yet so we are done in Tickenton there's nothing more we can do in here right now not until we get more passwords not until we get access to more places in the echo chamber. One thing I might want to do before and between now and the next part, but I probably won't, is actually look at this. The defeated monster list for the altars. The altar of origin, I've hit got everything except one which is that rarefied fromage fray or fromage flay ultra salvation there is a lot missing so I can't exactly do too much there there's nothing in the ultra of the legendary line ultra of the chosen I've got everything don't need to worry about that heavenly blade I'm missing two 
Ultra Reverie, I am missing a whole load of things. Forgotten Past, uh, last, um, that's the f rarefied fromage, uh, fromage flay. Bag of Laughs and the Bamboo, uh, I think these ones might be rarefied as well. Ultra of the Starry Sky, there are way too many missing. And there's none in the Ultra of the Cursed King at the moment. Well, there are 15 out and 0 out of 15 and 0 out of 10, 12, so maybe I could, but I don't think I can get them all. I think we're waiting on later pages for that. There is one other enemy that I do need to go and find before this part ends, and that's in the sea. There's this enemy just here. It's the only enemy outside of the altars that I don't have. Okay, and the first forest, because I haven't got to the point where that one actually appears yet. This is the only one that I haven't been to. So I'm going to go and find that. It's in the sea up to the north, but it needs to be in night time. So I will meet you there in the battle. Ah, here it is. King's Wid. Pretty much a version of the Tentacular. Just colder, because we're up in the north. Near Sniffleheim, where it's cold. I don't know why I went for that far in uh, explaining that, but uh, tentacles do exactly the same thing as what it would do in that part uh, in in the tentacular fight they guard the body the thing about this uh, the king's squid though is it's nowhere near as dangerous I am going to put him of ice up though, because I believe this does a cold breath. But, uh, yeah. It's not that bad. Well, that was easy. So, yeah, this around where I am. King, uh, King Squids, make sure it's night time, they don't, don't appear during the day. So, uh, where do I want to go next? Well, we're done, pretty much. I've got all the enemies outside of the Echo Chamber. And that one in the First Forest. There is nothing more that I can think of right now that we need to do. Our quest catalogue, again outside of Tockington or Tickington, is complete. So I'm going to offload all this money because I don't need it right now. Can I offload it? Yes, I can. And next time I will meet you in the first forest. Likely by the way up that uh, single line I'm uh, in the stump. Yeah, I think I'll meet you there, and we will head up to that final campsite in the first forest. Fight the final fight, that, no, fight the final enemy that we need in that area. And from there, head up to Yggdrasil. And we can see what happens once we get there. What is going to open our way to fight 
the dark one. So, until then, have a wonderful day. Have lots of fun. Goodbye.